Paul, for more on this, we're joined now by Thomas Huddleston, the research director of the Migration Policy Group, which is a think tank sympathetic to migrants' human rights. Good evening to you. Thanks so much for joining us here on your news. First of all, what do you think should be done in order to alleviate this situation? Well, I mean, donations are already flowing in and the EU is investigating what's happened with the millions that were supposed to be spent in Greece on dignified reception. So what's really needed right now are pledges to be able to relocate those homeless refugees who are sleeping rough on the islands. And countries in Europe have lots of experience with relocating people, resettling, even sponsorship where local groups uh, bring them in. And over the past two days, we've seen large large-scale mobilizations in Europe by Europeans, not just uh, NGOs, uh, thousands of citizens of Europe, all of the national churches, and also we've seen representation from regions and cities that represent millions of Europeans, and they're saying that Europe must act, evacuate now, leave no one behind. And yet, we've seen there, hearing from our reporter Postolos, that locals on the island of Lesbos are not happy about having the camp there. They do not want the migrants there anymore. How do you balance the needs of what the migrants want to achieve, but also what local residents and Lesbos want? So here, the refugees and the residents um, all want the same thing. Uh, They want uh, refugees to have a safe place, and we all need a safe place right now in times of COVID, where we can be uh, socially distant um, and where we can actually keep our families uh, safe. Uh, Everyone is seeing those images that you're seeing right now. Um, This is not a safe place. Uh, We woke up to these images uh, today. We're going to go to bed tonight, and we're going to have to ask ourselves, where are those refugee families sleeping tonight? And when are we going to take up and do some of our responsibilities at the EU level? So by that, do you mean moving them into Europe? And if that's the case, we've already seen how divisive migration can be. You only have to look back to Brexit, to what happened in the aftermath of Angela Merkel's policy of allowing a million refugees into Germany. Do you not think that there's a lot of people in Europe who might be a little bit upset if we start having more people, more migrants come into Europe? Or do you think that this is something that Europe can actually do because we do have the space and the needs to take care of them? Well, actually, the Migration Policy Group has been monitoring public opinion over the past five years, and most Europeans have actually become slightly more open. Um, And the majority of Europeans are open to immigrants. Uh, The large majority think that we should be doing more to help refugees. And here we actually have local groups, national churches, cities that have the space, particularly since under COVID, we have much lower arrivals um, here in Europe. So we actually have space in reception centers and in private accommodation. So if our national governments would just provide the spaces that actually local groups already have, then the problem would be quickly solved. Uh, Just quickly, do you think that the European Union has got to really clean its act up now for a while. These refugees and migrants were just left on the island of Lesbos. This has shone a spotlight onto the situation. Are you calling on the European Union to take the reins here? Well, under COVID, uh, the European Union has been trying to coordinate how we can have uh, safe policies. But unfortunately, they've mostly been providing guidelines. And right now, what we need is leadership. Many national governments are saying that they're waiting for uh, big pledges. So far, the EU has said they only need spaces for 400 unaccompanied minors. That's 3% of the need. So if we actually saw the EU demanding um, a whole scale uh, relocation of these 12,000 people um, from the islands, we would be able to create a dynamic and many more countries Mm. would be willing to step up. Thomas Huddleston joining us there from the Migration Policy Group. Thank you very much indeed.